Turning the Page. I'm host Donnie Morse of Confetti Antiques and Books. And today we have something unique that we've never had on our program before, and that is an illustrator and an author, Mike Mercer, who is owner of Spider Comics, and he's written a new comic series, um, From the Dust. This is a special collector's edition comic, which is Comic Zero in the series, so it's kind of a special deal. Tell us a little bit about uh, why Comic Zero. Yeah, so uh, in the comic book industry, like for a movie, which is another visual media, in order to entice people to, to watch the movie, uh, uh, movie studios come out with teaser trailers or, or you know, a trailer, right? And so it shows snippets of the story that to get you interested in, and let you know whether you're going to like this movie or not because some of those trailers will be like, you watch it and you're like, you know, I know that I'm not going to like that one. Um, and others, you're like, hey, I'm definitely going to like that. And in the comic book world, that's called a number zero comic. Um, they're normally a lot shorter. They're normally about eight to ten pages long. This one's actually 48 pages. Yeah, it's a full length comic. Yeah, and so this is a, a full length. In fact, it's a little bit longer than most comics. Most aren't 48 pages. And it's just jam packed full of stories and artwork and educational material. So, so yeah. it's a story from the old world. Uh, Jerusalem area. Yeah, it's it takes the story of Jeremiah the prophet in the Old Testament. Um, he was contemporary with Book of Mormon uh, characters, Lehi and Nephi. They all lived at the same time period. So where Lehi and Nephi uh, in the Book of Mormon, they leave Jerusalem um, before it gets destroyed. Um, Jeremiah actually is in Jerusalem. And that's what the book of Jeremiah is about in the Old Testament. So it actually takes both those stories, Jeremiah's story and Lehi's story, sort of weaves them together and tells it as a single narrative. Now this has some amazing artwork, some, some, some truly wonderful, wonderful uh, illustrations. You're the illustrator. Yeah, I uh, have been trained uh, classically in animation and, and painting and illustration at BYU. Um, I did an animation degree there and graduated almost three years ago now, and um, and yeah, so that's I was trained by what I think were the were some of the best, um, and a lot of other people in the industry feel like are the instructors at BYU uh, are are very high quality. Well, here in in the antiques business, the collectibles business, I've seen many many comic books come and go, and I have to say this is one of the best quality magazines and quality artwork and a great story. You've really done yourself well here. Thank you. Um, the first time I saw this, I'm like, I've got to get Mike on my program. I've got to get his product in my store. I think the public are going to absolutely love what you've done here. Thank you. What has been the response for the comic? Uh, well, I've taken it a number of places. I started actually going door to door before I even had a comic. All I had was a flyer, um, and this was probably about nine or ten months ago um, at the beginning of the year and I just had a flyer with one picture on it and I showed that to people and I was like hey y'all I'm making a Book of Mormon comic this is what it is and you'll get the first issues free digitally if you like it on Facebook right and I didn't even have a website I had a blog that you can sort of look at but no website or anything and I one of the things that kept me going and made me want to do this even more is I would uh, you know a, a middle aged woman would open the door with her with her kids and I'd just show her the picture and be like, I'm making a Book of Mormon comic book. And they just would light up. And if they were LDS, some people were not that into it and that's fine, you know. But, um, but yeah, they just would walk away smiling, laughing, asking me questions. And for, right at that moment, I knew I had something that was, that was cool and different and that I had to figure out how to get it, make it a reality for people. So that's something that um, I've had positive response. There has been a little bit of mixed response, but on the whole, it's been very positive. Like I said, the well, first time I saw it, I knew I had to have them in my store. Thanks. Um, Mike, uh, tell us a little bit about the characters. Uh, you've used kind of a fanciful animal-like Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, this is just on the cover. This is the prophet Jeremiah. Uh, he's a bullfrog. Um, and then you've got Nephi in the Book of Mormon. And the reason why I put those two on the cover is because that's basically who the story is about. Those are the two main characters. And we're constantly going back and forth between them. Um, both of those are animals. Uh, Jeremiah is what's called a European green, he's actually a toad, 
technically, um, European green toad. So these are animals that live and are native to Israel. Um, and then Nephi is a sand cat, uh, which is a desert feline um, that lives in the southern parts of Israel. Well, like I said, it's, it's, it's wonderfully illustrated. It's a great story. Um, now, you have high hopes for what you're trying to do here. Tell us a little bit about the, the future. Um, just like a television series might last for five or six years, uh, same thing with this comic book series, is I want it to last for five or seven years. Um, and it's going to tell a single continuous story, which is broken up in the seasons, which are kind of like a story unto themselves. You know, so it'd be very similar to a television series or let's say the Harry Potter series where you've got a novel. You know, it's a, it's a conclusive story and then the next one will be a... Con it's, it continues the same story, but it's a story into itself. I see. And so each comic book is basically like a chapter in that story. And uh, each one has, you know, tons of illustrations. But ultimately, like, uh, I've tried to approach this project as if it were a feature animated film. Um, I noticed that, you know, Marvel and DC have been making all of our summer blockbusters, and I was like, well, that's cool. You know, why why don't we start on that same path? And and what got them on that path was making comics 40 years ago. And so, if we wanted scripture stories to eventually become a feature animated film, you know, a, a good route to do that I think would be to start, you know, where where everybody else started, which was with the comics. You know, a successful comic is, you know kind of destined, hopefully, to one day be a movie. Why don't we take a commercial break. When we get back, we'll talk a little bit more about the comic book, and we'll tell people where they can get it and when it'll be available. This is Turning the Page. We'll be right back.